Stop it! No! No! He's very, very malnourished. Why am I so scared of this little dingus? Beautiful little egg, Kevin. Precious little clappy blappy. Can we please get one of these, you guys? Please, please, please. About to just put this right in your mouth. But look at that, you guys. Good morning, Master Ugwe. Only time will tell. All right, guys. I'm here at this based uh uh drive through safari. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Met a drive through safari in Texas. Uh, these are all animals that are basically livestock here. This is one of the animals that people pay a lot of money to hunt. Although in a place like this people won't hunt them they'll just drive around and feed them out of their car okay fine you little thing here yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just take it yeah. yeah, perfect. A buddy who is a wildlife rehabber in Australia came out here recently to uh, inspect this facility and visit it. And he told me they have a small crocodilian that is not in the best of shape that I could take from them if I had the right setup. And old Uncle Ben's been looking for a nice small crocodilian ever since I went to that old Chandler boy's place in Florida. And the beautiful thing about Texas is I don't even need a permit for crocodilians like Chandler. You see, old Uncle Chandler has to do all this work to get permits and maintain them and do all this other stuff and in texas i don't even have to do that and i did just check out this little crocodilian and he is in really bad shape he's very underfed and old uncle ben took his wildlife rehab course and i learned how to take care of crocodilians and help them particularly when they're dehydrated or malnourished here's a nice little female blue ostrich i believe get over here you adorable little babe might just have to take this boy home as well it's karen look it's karen but this is a really neat little place in texas where you can come and feed animals outside of your car boy get out of here stop it no no why i oughta and these guys are smart they know all the tricks here here eat this one eat this stoop ah literally anyone can do this in texas if you own a lot of land we're out in the middle of nowhere where land is really cheap so people literally will just get these animals do this kind of thing i've met so many old rich men out in the country here that just own their own little private versions of this they're gonna be giving us this little crocodilian this is an awesome place to take little kids because look at this little dude just hanging out the back og fans of the channel will remember whenever i bottle fed these little boys back at the old old austin apartment that's where it all began How's about we get one of these for the farm, you guys? How's about we go ahead and get one of these adorable little babies for the farm? About to just put this right in your mouth. Ooh, look at his teeth. Look at his little human looking teeth. Mm, don't mind if I do. Yeah, guys, Texas is crazy. All of this stuff you can own without a permit. Now, if you want to show people them or if you want to breed them and sell them, you do need to get licensed with the USDA, technically. The same thing applies to breeding and selling cows and dogs and every other kind of animal. Stupid little bird. Stupid little dog. I'm not 100% sure what these are. I think they're just black bucks. And these we could also get and have as sanctuary animals on the farm. Or get one that we know is just going to get hunted on a ranch. Or an orphaned or sick one. Kind of like what we did with the emus and ostriches and what we're doing with this little crocodilian. This ostrich stupid looking look at this beautiful creature wow can we please get one of these you guys please 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 look look he just lets ew 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 man these things are kind of nasty oh get out of here go all right when he starts hitting my car with his horn i'm out of here get out stupid dog man that thing could break a window here's a little pregnant petunia and here's some adorable little kevins look at that it's a little kevin i'm just gonna drop this on his back there you go but all these things you can legally own without permits except for for this adorable little baby boy. If you own a rhino and I think a giraffe in Texas, you do need a special class something permit. For. Wow. Zebra moment. Look how this, look at how he's eating. Beautiful creature. We definitely don't have enough room for this on the farm. And these are zebus. I've been offered these a bunch of times, but we also, I don't think, have enough space for them. Even though they're just tiny little cow, I think they would just absolutely destroy my property. One other thing I'll show you guys that I really wanted to show you is this little prairie dog town. There's actually a little prairie dog town here. And there's two mating tortoises, but they have prairie dogs here that just live out in this field. Giraffe moment. They also have a giraffe that you can feed. All right, everybody, I have the crocodilian. This is a more let's croc. People also call more leg crocs and Mexican crocs. This is actually the enclosure they had for them. Hey, it's me, the Indian bullfrog Uncle Ben saw on Instagram. Please don't forget to like this video and stay tuned for a big ounce update. And I'll show you when we get him home, we get him set up in a new enclosure. But he's pretty skinny and he's not super healthy. This is the Morlet's crocodile. And they just did not know how to take care of him. They kept him with a Nile crocodile that would bully him and he was too scared to eat. You can see from the shoulders there, also the missing teeth, also the base of the tail. He's very, very malnourished. Immediately brought him over to Sean and Ty's place here. Sean with Wyatt. X2 reptiles. There's Bowser right there. And now Sean's going to help me take it back to the ranch so we can set up something for him in the house. This was the exact enclosure that they had him in when I picked him up. They had him with this and a heat pad with no lighting. There was no lighting or other sources of heat at all. So we need to get this guy back 
and get him under a good heat lamp, get him under a good diet, get him some calcium. He should be good to go. This poor little creature. Another thing to note too, guys, if he was healthy, then he'd be able to jump out of this thing so easily, but he can't even move. I don't know if I'm even gonna post this footage, honestly. Well, 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 Master Ugwe came out of his cave. Good morning, Master Ugwe. I hope you're enjoying your meal. Uh-oh, left the hose on all night. There's the baby hanging out by himself in the back. Soon he's gonna have a little girlfriend. And now the cappies have all this mud to play. Players. And this is where they all hang out nowadays. And they have all this fresh hay to eat. All right, everybody, the trailer's nasty right now. There's mice in here. But we're gonna be using this for the tank for the crocodile. The house is coming along and this is all petrified wood that I've found while fishing. And I got this big piece that b -Alt from the hit YouTube channel, b -Alt gave me. Whoa, Master Ugwe. Man, he really moves fast. Okay, we got this set up so far. Who needs a TV anyway? Okay, we just treated the water with this stuff. And look how nice this is, you guys. Okay, little buddy, come on. Ooh, you got me. Ooh, you got me, little friend. Okay, adorable little child. Look at that. Only time will tell. He's gonna be okay in here for now. I'm going to the store right now to get a water heater for him. Well, I managed to flood this whole area, but at least the grass is gonna be really healthy for the baby. Hello, the baby. Man, this sure is hard work for me to do all by myself. Okay, I got the heater and some adorable little pets. Bigger Ten Ounceton wants to know, what's up there, Papa? What's up? Can I eat it? Big Ounce eats a crocodile? PewDiePie is over here peeing and these guys finish the half of the framing for the roof and the clappies are swimming i sure do love seeing those clappy blappies swimming around having fun even though they've completely destroyed the water with their poop man i literally filled this up last night and they've already destroyed the water there's still one in there i filled this up last night you guys and they've already just destroyed the water look at that eventually i will have a better setup for these guys with some kind of filter it's probably also really brown because of the mud that they track in from here but look at this precious little clappy blappy okay goodbye but look at that you guys we have a porch now i don't know why they haven't come over here to eat the grass but at least master Ugwe is eating this is typical tortoise behavior go to the corner of the area that you're confined in and sit for an hour okay i did everything the way i was instructed to this is small for him but it's restricted mobility because he's being rehabilitated and i got an adorable little baby boy down here what were you doing under my bed you goober everyone says oh uncle ben don't be such a little baby it's they don't even hurt why am i so scared of this little dingus why did god make something so cute but so spiky why do you exist adorable little creature okay guys i no longer have a tv and also the hedgehog can easily get out through this little crack so i made this little ranch so that she can get back up i don't really care if she escapes i just want her to be able to get back in there so she can get food and water but as you can see he is very thin and he's getting a little bit more comfortable around me and when that water temperature goes up his metabolism is going to kick in and he's going to be a lot better at eating i told you guys look see she can just squeeze right through this little crack also i'm kind of glad i don't have a tv here anymore because uncle ben needs to read more and as you can see the framing for the new porch is done i think they should be able to get the roof done tomorrow Goat moment. Po. This man really climbed up on my bed and woke me up this morning. Stupid dog. I replaced all of the goldfish with ruby red minnows because they're better. Also, he's getting a lot more comfy now in here. Rosy red minnows, my apologies. And as for these guys, I'm going to go ahead and put them in my pond, and that way the geese can eat them. Biberton answers tens. Wobby moment. Also, look at all the cappies just vibing over here. Good morning, Obama and Donald Trump. Just going to go ahead and pour these guys right in there. And there they go. They seem to be happy and healthy. Okay, now it's time to check Kevin's nest today i think we have an egg yum 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 don't mind if i do that's a very nice nest you have there with a beautiful little egg kevin mm, i sure wouldn't mind stealing that egg from you and incubating it because you're probably gonna break it just by stepping on it right now okay kevin i'm gonna walk away all right that one's yours fine okay that one's yours but if it rains and gets muddy then i'm taking it also take a look at this you guys this is indian paintbrush it's a beautiful little flower that's native here we might actually need to get some more grazing animals for all this grass because nothing's really easy eating it and we also still don't oh, God, oh get back here homeland we also still don't have anything in this enclosure here at all but the grass is growing back very nicely and there's a bunch of frogs that live in this little pond so this might be a good little place to put some tree frogs for now no big ounce what are you doing with this syringe also my friend who is a rehabber in australia who's worked with a lot of crocodilians says that i need to inject some egg white you take a syringe and put egg whites in it and inject that into a pink trigger warning pinkies are humanely euthanized small baby rats but i'll inject these guys 
guys with the egg whites and then I'll give it to him with some calcium and then he'll be able to gain his weight back very quickly. And this is the calcium that I'm using. And he ate that bad boy right up. So I'll just put this guy with big ounces syringe and I'll eat the rest of that egg. Though it took him a little longer than a normal healthy croc, he did eat that one and three others. He's swallowing it. Wow. Maybe he'll start trusting me as the food guy now. Would you like to start trusting me as the food guy, sir? Man, he's really missing half of his teeth. But wow, we did it, Reddit. I also want to add, you guys should not have these as pets unless you work with professionals or are trained. And I already have this little boy lined up to go to a crocodile sanctuary in Houston when he gets too big, which will be very soon. And the reason why I don't want Big Al's jumping in there is because I don't want this little guy to die. Obviously, we're just trying to protect this adorable little baby. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Hey, it's me, Big Ounce. This is the roof I made with Uncle Ben all by ourselves without any help at all. And here's our new merch that I made with my own two hands. Me, Big Ounce. I made this with my two hands. Also, I'll go more into this in the next video, but we did go to the doctor and they said he does not need surgery because his tumor has shrunk by 50 times. And the doctor said this was nothing short of a I miracle. So thank you guys so much for praying. Why is this man so perfect.